The circulatory system of drugs and money has tentacles and reaches all over the world. The U.S. government was using Honduras as kind of the launching pad to move south into Nicaragua. And at a certain point, the Sandinistas started to figure that out. We need to find another way. Costa Rica, a private airstrip. You'll be able to make your flight paths more unpredictable and use ground transports. We needed to have Teddy solidify certain routes to fortify certain elements of his business. How can we really achieve the scope of what the, it's on paper, like what the writing is? And it was written to be in this massive jungle surrounded by rainforests and Kabakar Indian tribes in Costa Rica in the 80s. When this first came up, I didn't really believe that we would go to Costa Rica. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to Snowfall, Costa Rica, season three, sound roll one. Fusion 12 track recorder, track one's a mix. All flying tracks are ISOs. There is no backup to this because we're over the shoulder in the jungle. Well, getting gear here is, is the first and foremost uh, challenge. Um, you know, we are in about 60 kilometers outside San Jose, and San Jose is about 3,000 miles uh, south of Los Angeles, and everything needed to get transported here or get sourced locally, which we did a lot of. We met some great filmmakers in Costa Rica that really helped uh, with this production and uh, been instrumental in making this happen. This is their land, and without their knowledge, we're all kind of a little bit lost. Even though this is the second least rainiest month of the year, but it doesn't mean that it can't rain. We were all a little bit nervous about pulling our big day off yesterday, but it went well. We got it. We built an entire indigenous Kapkar Indian village here. We hired all the local artists here to build it for us, and they basically sourced all the material from this property to make it look as if it's been sitting in this rainforest for, uh, you know, countless years. It just it seemed like the perfect little valley, a little clearing in, in the middle of the rainforest, and Tomas is the, the genius behind actually making that happen, and his, uh, his art department guys, um, which they spent about a month building it. It's basically a Kabakar Indian village, kind of like guerrilla style, hidden in the middle of the jungle. Kabekar is like a native people of Costa Rica. They are not very common anymore. It's just one person left that is a native speaker of their original language. We based our designs more on the cultures that we have, like there are the Bribris and the Malekus, that actually the extras are Malekus. So I started sketching some of the cages and the designs for the houses and the huts and everything. It's everything that we wanted for this, for this episode and impossible to get this level in LA. Snakes in general are not uh, aggressive. It's only, only if you disturb the animal, you can, you can receive a bite. I'm a, a snake handler. I try to help here with snakes. We can find uh, a lot of species of snakes here, uh, mainly non-venomous, but uh, we have some very important uh, venomous species, like the fur de lance, is the most common uh, venomous snake in Costa Rica and in Central America. It's a mainly nocturnal species, but, but you can find during the day, uh, hide in, in the forest floor, and sometimes are, you can find big, big specimens. Initially, there was a feeling that like, oh, we can't really do a big night sequence. I sort of just started thinking about it and was like, well, we can probably manage to like light a large portion of this just with some fires and some practical fire and trees that are white in the background and the reflection, I think I can get enough depth that we could, you know, have, have the scene that we ultimately had around the, the fire up here. It's the heart of darkness meets Fitzcarraldo. <laughs> and I feel like Klaus Kingsky right now. <laughs> to get snowfall out of LA, and to be truthful to the writing, and I'm really grateful that they actually went for it and that we're all here and we came down to shoot. We all had a vision and, and we, with the help of the local folks, were able to execute it. We could have tried to fake it, but because we really do strive for a sense of reality in everything that we're doing, to see what it was like at the time there as someone like Teddy was trying to 
establish more routes for his arms, ammo, guns for the Contras, that it's being funded by the sale of cocaine through Franklin. So it was a way to connect more of the dots and to do so in a visual and visceral way. We'll need medical supplies, 25 M16 rifles with ammunition, a Cessna 441 Conquest II, and 10,000 American dollars a month. We're not in this for ourselves, Teddy. We are more than patriotic because we are willing to die, and even worse, to suffer and destroy for the cause.